you very, very much. Um, and now we'd like to um, uh, bring in uh, Matthew. Um, hello, Matthew. You okay? Hello. Hi, everyone. Matthew, Ryan's been avoiding saying your second name because he's got no <laughs> Italian. I know this is this is tough. This is tough to say. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Tell everyone you, you, your full name. So it's Lorisella. It's a, it's an Italian name. Uh, more precisely, from Sicilia. Fantastic. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> well, you, you know, some people say this webinar is thrown together, Matthew, but I think this is a fairly sort of seamless link from speaking to Bruno. Hopefully people are thinking about how they can start to build these relationships with French agents. How do they get over to France? How do they see potentially French players? Well, there's, there's only one place to go, isn't there? And that's yeah. the tournament. <laughs> you, have, you, have to, you have to go, you have to, to come to the tournament. Um, I, I, will, I will just start with, with, a, with a quick history lesson. Uh, so as you, as you pointed out, um, Tony, at, at, the, at the beginning of the, of, of the webinar, uh, we are formerly known as the Toulon Tournament, but we changed our name uh, uh, four years ago uh, with Maurice Revelo Tournament, with the name of the founder of the tournament. And um, it's an, an annual international competition uh, reserved for players under the age of 21. So that's why, yeah, if you want to, to make some Gs in France, you have to go, you have to come to the tournament. Because every year it brings together 12 national teams from all continents. And uh, yeah, that's where the most biggest talents uh, have been. Uh, and as you can see in the, in the slide, we, we, we hosted uh, four Ballon d'Or. Um, as a Marseille fan, I, I will be a bit chauvinistic and say first uh, Jean-Pierre Papin. Uh, <laughs> he took part in the tournament in, in 1985. Uh, and he, he, he was the only player to, to, to have won the, the Ballon d'Or while he was playing in the French League. So that's, that's, that's a huge stuff. And uh, yeah. of course, um, as you can see, we had Cristiano Ronaldo, who is without any doubt the, the, the greatest player in the tournament history. I say that because we didn't have the chance to have Lionel Messi, so there is no debate. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Matthew, I've been I've been twice to the uh, Tournoi Maurice Revelot, and my player of the the first time I went, my player of the tournament that I saw was Presnel Kimpembe. Yes. yes. And then last time, although the centre midfielder for Brazil Brazil were very strong last time in 2019. Yes, they've won. They've won. The centre midfielder went to Villa straight after the Do, tournament. Yes. But I like that Anthony, the Brazilian who went, uh, I think he went to Ajax a little bit yes. later. But it, it's such a fantastic tournament, isn't it? And, and Marseille is a great city to visit as well. And that region's fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. You you, you were talking about uh, Douglas Luiz. Um, That's it, yeah, Douglas Luiz. Joined, he joined Aston Villa and... Uh, and uh, he was named as the, the best player of the last edition of the of the tournament. Uh, but yeah, uh, Presnel Kimpembe took part in the, in our competition in 2015. Uh, France won this tournament, and he was named as the second best player. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we have a lot of very very good players that have been in uh, in our competition, and uh, that's uh, that's a huge place if you want to see new talents and if you want to 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 make some deals. And and what's happening? So obviously with the pandemic's hit everyone really hard. What's happening for your tournament, Mathieu? Um, we hope that this year we will be will be able to organize the tournament in good conditions. Um, we want to welcome all the scouts and, and agents uh, that are very very loyal to us at each edition. Um, to not be able to to hold the tournament last year was heartbreaking, and uh, because it it hadn't happened for over forty five years, and uh, wow. so wow. we, we we hope to make up for lost time. Um, we are in constant discussion with with the French government uh, to establish the the right arrangement to have the best condition to host all the teams, and we we cross the fingers. Uh, we hope to, to, to be able to organize it uh, because if we, we if we manage to, to organize it, it will be a competition of very high level uh, with several teams coming to, to prepare their, their participation in the in the Olympic Games. So ah, so the, the using they will be using your tournament as a preparation for the Olympics. Right, right, That's yeah. And 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 also, Matthew, what about? I mean, Bruno talked about. Brexit and the, we've now got a governing body endorsement system. 
and your tournament's been put into band one of that of that yes. Um, yes. of those rules. That must be a, an incredible. Um, it's a it's a really good vindication of what you've been doing in terms of developing players and players who come to the tournament. Yeah, to be honest, to be honest, that was a bit <laughs> unexpected. Uh, wow. When we've when we've learned some the news, it was it was incredible, unbelievable for us um, because we knew, we know that we have a rich history, but we're just like a small tournament in France, mm -hmm. and yeah. to be to be named among the most remunerative competitions in terms of points. Uh, by the by the FA, it's it's a huge pride and it's, it's as well a real mark of, of recognition. I think, I, I think it's because you've England have won a couple of times recently. I think that's maybe yeah, <laughs> maybe um, that's yeah, yeah maybe you're right. They there's not many there's not many we remember, but um, I mean, was was there any lobbying going on from you there to the FA as the the, the coming no. on or? No? To, to be honest, we we we, no, no, we, knew, we never talked about that with, with with any people in England. So yeah. that's why it was a bit unexpected because so, we've done so, that and we were like, oh, amazing, yes. <laughs> so for players, you know, who are taking part in that tournament and getting minutes on the pitch, they're going to get points that can yep. possibly take them, you know, to England at some point. It's going to really help, particularly if you're from a maybe an unattractive country that's not yeah. as big of a football as like France is, maybe a smaller nation. Can you tell us any of the names that might be coming this summer? <laughs> you want to tell you want me to tell you some secrets? <laughs> oh, well, France. I, I, I can I can say much <laughs> I can say much about the, the identity of, of the team that will be here for this okay. year, but I, I gave you some clues by saying you that they will prepare the Olympic Games. So you maybe have some ideas. Right, right. Okay. Well, let us know in the chat if anyone knows what the Olympic lineup's looking like, and it might be a little bit similar. I can say one. I can say France because they are Tom, so they are, they will be there. <laughs> well, well, France, France. Interestingly, Mathieu, when I was there, it was a very, very young team. It was like yes. 17, 18 18s, and when yes. you looked at the Brazilian players, they were like, I mean, that, that Douglas Luiz looked like he was about twenty-seven. Never mind twenty-one yeah. or twenty-two, yeah. whatever he was. They were real. <laughs> you know, fully grown up men and, and the French sent a really young team. Yes, yes, this that was the, the youngest team of the tournament. They were they were under 18 uh, mm. uh, yeah. when the Brazil was under 23. So yeah, the difference was huge. Right? And, um, and for people in the audience, what's great about the tournament is the access that you can have if you're an agent or a scout. Sorry, yeah. You know, you, you've got about, how many different venues have you got? You've got quite a few venues, haven't you? We have four venues. Four venues, and, and it's all around that sort of Marseille, Toulon area, yes. isn't it? And it's a beautiful part of the world. Yes. Yeah, I, I was going to say, Matthew, for the, you know, for, for the people tuning in, you know, let, let's 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 hope that everybody is going to get their vaccine. Um, let's hope all these all these silliness that's yes. going on in Brussels gets sorted out, and everybody's got the vaccine, and we can have this tournament. If if an agent wants to come over, what what how, what's the experience like? You know, are, are they together with other agents or are they together with the general public? Tony talks about the access. How does it work? You, it's it's like a, a, an experience of uh, I, I always say that to to people. It's like a, a youth tournament when we were playing uh, in in the Sunday league uh, when we were. <laughs> well, 13, but with professional footballer because this is very uh, a friend, a friend uh, atmosphere. Uh, Friendly. Everyone is near. You can talk to everybody. You're mixed up with uh, the, the the public. Uh, we just want to see the games. Yeah. So this is real, real good atmosphere, but with a professional level. Fantastic! Okay. Absolutely I brilliant. Can that. Now, I now I know Ali shared your details um, in the in the chat as well, but I'm presuming people can go onto the website and and have a look about the tournament as well. Yes, yes, I will I will put the uh, the, the link on the on the chat when I when I'm finished. But yeah, you can go on the website. We have uh, big archives with all the best players, some pictures, some videos. You can also follow our social medias. You will be able to to know everything about the tournament. And, okay. and we, Ryan, we are going to be doing some webinars with around the tournament time, I think, to, to, you know, so that's, we're going to lend a little bit of a hand on a bit of promotion over in England and other places too. Well, we want to do it live, Tony, really. <laughs> of, of course, <laughs> we want we'll to do be it live, live from the south of France for sure. Absolutely. 
Um, uh, fantastic. I mean, if you, I, I know nothing's sorted, but if it does happen, do you know what time of year it might it might be? Yeah, um, it would it will be at the beginning of June. Uh, okay, right. So the, quite sure, so. the first fifteen days of June. Uh, it's the, the the same date uh, in each edition, but this this year when we. Uh, as we have the, the Euros uh, at the end of the season, we have to adapt. But yeah, beginning of June. Fantastic. Count me in, count me in, Mathieu. Count me in. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. We'll see. <laughs> uh, Mathieu, thank you very much for that. Good luck uh, with getting every 